Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is going to be a complete jumble. I filmed it at different times. Uh, I filmed it some at night, some during the daytime. I forgot to do an ending. I forgot to do an introduction. This is the introduction to the video. I compare two stick foundations the hourglass versus the bobby brown and i think i do explain uh how that came about my friend asked me to do that so i think i do explain there i think that's where the video begins uh so i just wanted to do this brief introduction i uh talk about uh how things are going with my uh, my son's family living with us and just kind of give you an update on things so I hope you enjoy this video and so here goes. A friend of mine requested this, uh, that I do this comparison and I just love her and her name is Kathleen. Um, she's just, she's a beautiful woman. I've known her from Instagram and from here on YouTube also. And she is just such a lovely woman and I just really appreciated her asking me to compare these two. For years I have been a loyal Laura Mercier Silk Cream All Free Photo Finish Foundation user. Just loved it. And then I tried a stick foundation. I tried one from Lancome and just fell in love with it. So I started in sort of in a journey of uh, looking at stick foundations, trying to find the one that I liked the best. Uh, I've done uh, a comparison with the L'Oreal stick foundation and the Lancome stick foundation. Did a video on that. And so uh, I kind of want to continue this journey of comparing the stick foundations to see if I can find the ultimate. I have this thing in my mind that I like to have the ultimate foundation, skincare, eyeshadow, you know, different things. Well, not eyeshadow because eyeshadows for me change so much and there's always new colors to discover. But if I can find the right formula and the right color for a foundation, then I feel like I'm set. I had found it for years with Laura Mercier and um, you know was very very satisfied with it but when I tried the cream I kind of kind of liked it a whole lot traditionally over the years before I started using the uh, the Laura Mercier I had been real attracted to the cream to powder foundations I don't particularly like to use powder on my skin but I liked the cream to powder powder because it was just a touch of powder that left it not not oily looking but not too dry looking either I, I liked that looked a lot and it covered up a lot of imperfections that i had so uh the one that i liked the best they discontinued i never did find one that i liked as well so i started in on the journey of the stick foundations so this morning before i put on my makeup as i started out i did one side of my makeup with the hourglass this is what i'm comparing the oh this is what my friend kathleen asked me to do to compare the hourglass stick foundation it's got the little square thing with the bobby brown stick foundation and i feel like the bobby brown has been around for a long time so that's what i did this morning i put on half and i've been doing it comparing them for a while so i do have some thoughts on it so this half is the Hourglass, this half is the Bobbi Brown. So I'm going to show uh, putting it on while I talk about it. As far as color, um, I had a better match and better luck with Bobbi Brown. The color that I got for the Bobbi Brown is warm beige and it just really matches my skin very, very well. The color that I had after many attempts at Sephora that I got was light beige for the hourglass. It, I, I, I really had trouble. I had struggled a lot with the hourglass trying to find the right color. It was either too orange, too yellow, too rosy. It wasn't a true neutral. I could not find a true neutral, a true beige neutral. That's what my color skin is. It's ne neither too warm nor, nor too cool. It's just right there in the middle. So I had trouble with a matchup, and that, which surprised me because I've always felt like the Bobbi Brown tended to be to go toward warm, warm. But I feel like her foundations, even though they go warm, they're a little bit more natural looking warm than the Hourglass. So I felt like that was a strike against the Hourglass, but in a point for the Bobbi Brown was the coloring. So now I'm going to show applying both of them and. Um, I'll do, you know, give a little thoughts to it. 
on the right side of my skin, I applied, your left, my right, I applied the Hourglass Foundation. Uh, I think it goes on just beautifully. It was just a breeze to put on. It's just, I like to blend it with my fingers. I think, to me, in my opinion, uh, either a sponge or your fingers work best with, uh, with stick foundations. Uh, I found that a brush wipes off too much of the product. So I, on me anyway, I had better luck using the, uh, using my fingers because I don't care to use, I don't care for sponges, but a lot of people would probably really enjoy using and have good luck with the sponge with these foundations. So I put it on, it spread beautifully. I had the very best of luck with it. Um, I just thought, I love the coverage. It has a good, nice coverage. It covers up flaws. I wish the color was a little bit better, but uh, overall, I was just tickled to death with how beautifully it spread and what a nice coverage it gave me, minimal effort. The Bobbi Brown, not so much. Even though the color is just such a good match for me, uh, it was, it's not quite what I'm looking for in a foundation. I, a stick foundation, I like it a little heavier. If you like a lighter coverage in a stick foundation, then this would be the one that you would probably like better. I like a heavier coverage without it looking too cakey. And Bobbi Brown didn't quite give me that. It's a wonderful foundation. It's very nice. But I had to put on extra to get it to blend over discolorations and imperfections in my skin. Plus it was harder to put on. It might be easier with a sponge, but using my fingers, I had to pull at my skin more. And uh, that was something that I didn't really like. Over time, I feel like it would wear down the, wear down your skin a little bit. It caused too much pulling with it. But with a sponge, you may have a different story, but I think, I wonder with the sponge, if it would shear it out even more. Um, so I'm going to come back at the end of the day and give my final thoughts, but on putting it on this morning, I like, and every other morning, I like the way that the hourglass puts on and goes on as an initial uh, application a lot better than the Bobbi Brown. But if you're looking for a heavier coverage putting on with easier blendability, the hourglass is better. So I will come back later on and see how both of these wear. Uh, got a busy day ahead of me, so it'll be a good chance to see how it holds up to everything I do today. So I'll see you in a little bit. So of course, I forgot to um, video it that night, but what I did right before I took a shower that night, I took a camera and did both sides. And I have to say that they uh, turned out pretty, you know, to have lasted pretty well. The first side is the uh, hourglass one, and I just think it lasted beautifully. It's just something about stick foundations that lasts so well on me, and I just really pleased. And then the other side is the Bobbi Brown. It lasted pretty well too, but since it was thinner going on by the end of the day, it was thinner than the hourglass was, so it wasn't something that I was quite as happy with. But I do have to say, on me, stick foundations overall last better than other foundations do. They, they really do last really well, especially since I don't use a primer and I don't wear powder. So they just do a really fantastic job. Um, I'm going to be comparing more of them. I've got several more that I've bought. And so skipping around in future videos, I will compare them. But uh, I'm not ready to say that I like a stick foundation better than my Laura Mercier, but it's going to be interesting to me to see what kind of conclusions I come with because before I do a video, I wear the heck out of whatever foundation that I'm going to be talking about so that I can really get a good feel of it. My verdict on this one is I like the hourglass despite the color problems. I like the hourglass much better than I do the Bobbi Brown. The Bobbi Brown is fine and better than some liquid foundations, but it isn't quite what I'm looking for in a foundation. So if I was gonna buy one or the other, I would buy the Hourglass and try to get the best color match that I could. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry if it's kind of, you know, a day here and a day there. It just kind of turned out that way. I had, you know, a lot going on. It, everybody is so busy this time of year. And I'll give you a little update on how we're doing with my son and my daughter-in-law and their four children living with us for right now. Um, 
It's been challenging. It's been rewarding. What I've had to do is let some things go. I'm a very neat, tidy person. I like things, you know, every, everything in its place. And it's with another family living with you, it's it's difficult, especially when there's four little kids, you know, running around and, and doing things. So what I have had to do and what we've all had to do, and it's difficult for them. They don't have room for all their clothes. They don't have room for everything. They're having to dig out little corners of rooms to make their own. And so that's what we've had to learn to do. We've had to learn to make things our own. Um, I've got my bedroom. Doug and I have our bedroom. I've got my back room. Um, I've got a room downstairs that I like to keep real neat and tidy. They've got uh, rooms that they put all their stuff in and they have that organized the way that they want. She and I, my daughter-in-law and I share the kitchen. We share the cooking and the cleanup duties and uh, it seems to be working. And I think it's working for her too. I know it's got to be incredibly difficult for her. She's as sweet as she could be. She would never ever say anything negative or, um, and they're extremely grateful to be able to do this. But I know it's gotta be hard. It would drive me crazy to have to live with my mother-in-law. So bless her for being so kind about it because she sure has and been such a good sport. So anyway, that is my video for today, and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week. I'll talk to you in a couple of days, and my daughter-in-law has agreed, um, I hope this works out, that she has uh, short, dark, uh, coarse Asian hair, and uh, I have, you know, complete opposite hair. So I got a new curling wand that I showed in a previous video. So I'm going to do some beachy waves on her, you know, shorter bobbed hair. And, uh, and we're going to see how, it, how this holds up as compared to the way it does my hair. So she has agreed to do this video with me. So I'm very excited about that. So I will talk to you all in a few days. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.